let's talk about the keyword self in Lua. What is it and what's the deal with the magical colon which allows us to use it? A lot of beginners in Lua will find self a bit magical. It allows you to do a lot of cool things, such as make object-oriented programming possible. Well, that's not actually true. You can very much emulate classes without self. It just makes the code a little bit cleaner and easier to understand. In fact, self isn't really a keyword, even though I keep saying it in my videos, since it's not actually a reserved word. The whole colon annotation is just a bit of syntactic sugar. Which, when understood, can be a powerful tool, almost as powerful as subscribing to this channel. Let's have a look at a simple code example, and hopefully expose some of the smoke and mirrors. I will start by creating a table, named player, that will contain two variables. x, which I will set to be equal to 30, and speed, which I will set to be equal to 10. To help us visualize what happens, I will create a function inside of the player table, named printPosition. This function will use a colon, which allows us to use the self key... Uh, just... word... What, whatever. Inside the function, we are going to print self.x. Next, I will create another function named moveWrite, which also uses a colon. Inside, we will increment the x position by the speed amount. We can now test this to make sure that it works as intended. I will first call the printPosition function, making sure to again use a colon. After that, we can call the moveWrite function, which will increment the x position. Finally, we call the print function again to make sure that the x value has indeed increased by 10. If we run the program, you can see that it prints the start position of the player, 30, and then the next position after moving, 40. However, we are able to replace the colon of the move right call with a dot, as long as we add the player table as an argument. As you can see, it still works just like before. The reason it works is because all the colon does when added to a function call is to add a hidden argument where it passes the table. We can also replace the colon of the move right function with a dot, and then manually add an argument named self, because that is all the colon does when added to a function declaration. It simply adds a hidden argument named self. If we run the program again, you can see that it is still functioning just like before. The interesting part about this is that the player table is not the only table which is allowed to utilize its functions. If we create a new table named enemy with slightly different values, we can then call the player's print position function using a dot and pass in the enemy table instead. Let's also do the same thing for the two other function calls, replacing the colon with a dot and passing in the enemy table. As you can see when we run the program, the enemy prints its own position using the player table's function, then moves to the right and finally prints the position again. Hopefully, this cleared up any confusion you might have had regarding the colon syntax sugar and self. Let me know if you have any further questions down in the comments, and if you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like.